Hello students, welcome to my channel. Namaste students, today we are going to learn the second method of solving linear equation in two variables and that is elimination method. Let us take the same example, x plus y equal to 14 and x minus y equal to 4. So here I have to eliminate the variable. I am putting the first equation as 1 and the second equation as equation number 2. Okay, so Elimination means what? Eliminating the coefficient from both the equation and getting the other value of the second variable which is left out. Okay, so here I am going to eliminate the x. Hmm. So for that I have to first compare the coefficient of x in both the equation. What is the coefficient of x in first equation? 1. What is the coefficient of second uh, x in second equation? 1. So I don't have to multiply any numbers here since it is same in both the equation. So here I can do simply equation 1 minus equation 2. Why minus? Because if I do plus x plus x will come up which will result into twice x. So I will only be eliminating in that way. So to eliminate it off I have to do subtraction. Okay. So x plus y I can do in very easy way. Look at here. I can do the left hand side minus the left hand side of second equation. So left hand side I have written first equation as x plus y and minus left hand side of the second equation is x minus y. Okay. And you know when you have put this minus, be sure you give one bracket. Okay. Equal to right hand side of first equation minus right hand side of second equation. 14 minus 4. I hope you have understood this line. Now open up the bracket. Minus x minus a minus a plus y equal to 14 minus 4 is 10. Okay. So you look at here. I am getting x plus y minus x plus y. So as usual my intention was to cancel out x. So here I can cancel it because I have put this minus. And in case of y plus y and plus y will result into twice y. Correct. Twice y equal to 10. So here I am getting the value of y as 10 by 2 it is 5. Easy. Isn't it? Easy. Very easy. Now putting the value of y and doing it this way but when you do in long sheet or horizontal sheet in your exam uh, do it in second page okay. So putting putting the value of y in whichever uh, you put whichever you want to put in one or either in one or two you get the correct answer of y x okay. So putting in one. So, x plus y equal to 14. What is my y here? 5. x plus 5 equal to 14. So, this is simple. This is simple, isn't it? So, we are getting 9. So, therefore, the solution is 9,5. Isn't it? Students, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.